So you just got a brand new PC. You're just ready to play that, you know, game of Fortnite, Minecraft, whatever you guys play. And you've realized that it takes forever to turn on. You're stuck on a Windows loading screen for maybe a minute or two. Applications take forever to load up and you just don't like the experience. Well, what if I told you for only 20 bucks or even less, you can upgrade it so that it doesn't take a forever to boot up and applications will instantly load up. Is it possible? Let's find out. So what is this magical upgrade you speak of? The upgrade I'm talking about is an SSD, or a solid state drive. This is basically just another storage drive that isn't a spinning disk, which basically allows the system to boot up faster. Rather than a typical uh, hard drive, which is usually like a spinning disk, like that one right here, the Seagate drive, pretty bad actually. Um, rather than a spinning disk, there's no moving parts here. It's a really uh, you know slim form factor. And uh, what this is, is basically just like a flash storage. There's no moving parts. It takes a really short time to boot up or open up stuff, which you'll see in a minute. But this will, it might be like a smaller capacity, 120 gigs here, but it will help a lot with booting into things, opening applications, stuff like that. So let's get it installed in my Ryzen system and see what it can do. This really isn't going to be a tutorial. Um, maybe in a future video, I'll do a tutorial on how to like build a PC, so you know how to install all components. But for now, I'm just going to be uh, going through like the steps that I would go through. But uh, what you need if you plan on this doing this upgrade, uh, you'll need a SATA cable, like one I have right here. Uh, a SATA cable, uh, SATA port actually. Don't know if you guys can see that. Let's torch the light real quick. But that is a SATA port, right over there, just right next to the red and blue, those are SATA ports. So you'll need a SATA cable, which is just right here, of course the SSD, and you have to make sure that you'll have a mounting place, so hard drives typically are bigger and take up more space, as you can see here, I don't know if you can see that, but these are bigger 3.5 inch drives, and typically SSDs are 2.5 inches, so Right here, I can mount it right here with these four screws on the bottom. So uh, it really just depends. Like I said, I'll do a future video on how to do this. But for now, I'm just going to install this SSD in here and see if I can get a Windows installed. All right, so as you can see, the SSD is installed. Uh, my cable management is going to have to wait. Just like I wired it up to the other port there, not next to the other two drives I have. But for now, it's just to install Windows onto, so... I guess just leave it at that for now until I'm done. But here I have my uh, Windows installation USB drive. Uh, you can uh, follow the instructions on Windows website. I might do a tutorial on this also in the future. But I can just plug this in. I also forgot to mention that you'll need a SATA power cable that comes from your power supply. That's what is used to power the SSD. It's not a very power, uh, power hungry device, but you still need power going through it, which that just goes directly to your power supply. That goes to your motherboard for data. So SATA data and SATA power. So just keep that in mind. Uh, make sure that you have that right cable. Uh, so typically it just looks... I'll show you real quick. But it's just a bigger cable. That's what it looks like. So yeah, on these drives you all have them. Those black cables. And then there's the data ones. The colorful ones. So keep that in mind. Make sure that your power supply has that. By now I can just turn on my PC. By the way... I forgot to do this, but whenever you're doing an upgrade like this, on the back of your power supply, there's a switch uh, right there. So yeah, turn that off whenever you're doing something like this, so you don't actually get shocked. Uh, well, it's not for a shock, but just so you don't damage your components, so make sure of that. But by now we can just turn on the computer, should turn on, and it needs to boot into the BIOS. Typically. To get into the BIOS, you press delete or F2, but usually on a splash screen you can see that. So I can press delete a couple of times. And then now it should be in. Okay, and we need to boot into my installation disk. So you can see that it's detected. Um, wait, yeah, SPCC solid state disk. It's about 120 gigs. So now uh, in UEFI mode, uh, enter, and it should automatically boot into Windows installation. My custom splash screen. And it'll take a minute because it is over uh, USB. 
but once the installation uh, begins I can go ahead and go through the steps customize the way I want it to be Windows 10 and it should be good to go there it is booting very noisy system I need to fix that but as you can see here is the welcome screen so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up the installation and I'll uh, give some the numbers maybe to see how like fast it takes to boot up uh, versus my uh, 160 gig drive say the hard drive and yeah so I'll go ahead and go do that and I will be back